I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video I have a super urgent soul check announcement and you know this time it's not clickbait. This time I'm for real super urgent. So make sure to watch the entire video because things are about to change. Right, I will just start off with this video is not financial advice, it is for entertainment purposes only. Now that is out of the way, I can tell you the real announcement, which I'm not too happy with. So if you've been following my Soul Chick journey, I record a video on Soul Chick every single day up until the launch in a full playlist that you can see on the side of the screen. However, today there was a, a Soul Chick announcement on Telegram, which I'm showing you right now, which I'm going to read and listen very carefully. Whitelist eligibility and receiving your chick tokens via holding Soul Chicks NFTs, that's what I'm doing. I have one wallet with 10 NFTs and one wallet with five NFTs. And as you know, my plans, I was supposed to buy more after the initial dump when the snapshot has taken, but that is about to change. Please make sure your NFT is delisted from any secondary market and that you're holding your NFT during this process at all times in order to be eligible for whitelisting. We will take a snapshot of NFT holders sometime in the next 48 hours prior to the 2 p.m. UTC on 26th of November. Probably what they'll do is they take the snapshot at 1.30 p.m. UTC, 26th of November, which makes sense. However, most important information of the day. That's why it is super urgent. You cannot sell your NFT during the fasting period. You must also hold on to your NFTs for the next three months in order to receive your chick tokens through the vesting schedule. We will be periodically taking snapshot over the next three months. And if you have sold your NFTs or listed them on secondary market, we reserve the right to halt future vesting of tokens and refund your remaining uh, money pro rata back at cost. So obviously my first argument was that's fucked up. They cannot stop the vesting, but if they're going to refund your money pro rata uh, back at cost, that is definitely possible. Now, what does that mean for us, for you and for me? In my opinion, as it's just my opinion, the bid floor of the NFTs will continue to go up because people who were looking to sell before, after the snapshot has been taken, now can't sell. So a bid floor currently sitting at about 20.94 Solana, which is absolutely crazy, on Solenart and on Magic Eden, we're looking at 22 Solana, right? And when we, this is comments, right? So if we go for a uncommon, almost 21, a rare is 23.8. Uh, a mythic right now is 90 instead of uh, 55. Absolutely through the roof, these prices. I was going and planning to buy more after the initial dump. Now I know this is not going to happen. However, do keep in mind the timeline. What does that mean for your investment? What does it mean for the opportunity of this project? Because this is a major change. Additional changes have happened, which I will conclude at the end of this video. First, let me talk about the NFTs. Then I'll talk about the price prediction changes. And then I'll make a summary of all the other changes you need to be aware of, which I think for all the praise that I've given the Soul Chicks team in regards to, you know, how active they've been, uh, the growth they, they have established. I think it's really poor service notifying people on Telegram with unofficial announcements. These are not on the website available. The white paper is not updated. The tokenomics are not updated. I, I, I might be a crybaby right now, right? Because we're probably going to the moon with this project. But I'm just saying, I like transparency. I'm, 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 for me, in my terms, I mean, I'm investing $30,000 into this project. That's a lot of money right? Um, I would like to be more up to date on the continuous changes. That's all I'm saying. And what these changes are, I will tell you later on in this video. All right, talking about the NFTs, mint privileges. All right, so the first and the second wave, which I've discussed in a different video, which you can check in the playlist, they are um, already minted, right? So now the third wave of the minting is coming up, which is really important because as I said in my last video, the token generation event will take place 6th of December, 
right? The private sale will open on the 26th of November. So there's a gap of a week and a half between the private sale investment. Then every day there will be different IDOs because they will be using 26 different launch pads. And then on the 6th of December, the token generation event will take sale, uh, take place. And according to the white paper, they will list on Radium and the Solana DEXs first, Radium being the biggest one right now you need to hold on to your nfts when are these drops coming well i have my beautiful sheet here right so these are my buy-ins these are the token prices how many tokens i'm going to get so the first fasting happens uh basically 6th of december right then the second one 6th of january 6th of february 6th of march so at the 6th of march basically there would be assumed to be a huge dump of these nfts for anybody who's not going to play the game if i want to play the game i need one nft and i have 15 so you can expect me to dump after the four fasting which is basically as soon as the alpha is released already in the first quarter of next year there will be a huge dump i might be talking quite quick but i'm just trying to keep up with the news um the third main thing however i got confirmed through the grapevine again all my anonymous sources will happen mid-december so it makes sense that the additional 5,000 new nfts will be minted one week or the same week of the idea uh, of the launch of the listing one week after the listing makes sense what they're doing is they're going to spread the hype they're going to live off the momentum and ride the wave extremely smart this marketing team don't underestimate them right they're now making rules to hold the nfts to prevent a price drop they are probably going connect to connect this mint to the actual listing of the token to maintain the hype you know the the growth that i've talked about in terms of their social media channels what they're doing uh, you know the continuous updates uh, the tremendous growth potential the partnerships you know they're trying to maintain this and they're doing quite well not in my benefit obviously but in their own benefit right and i think for the long term uh trajectory of this project it is a benefit for everybody but i'm just looking for quick profits that's why maybe it's not in the best interest of me uh, however now and i will make a separate price prediction video with all my arguments i think that a 15x is a lot more realistic than my previously calculated in 5x right so the price prediction for soul chicks uh maybe we could even reach like two dollars uh, I would not be surprised. People fear the market cap. I couldn't give a flying fuck about the high market cap because we're talking about, well, currently combined channels, 350,000 unique followers. That's not a joke. 26 different launch pads, and we're still almost two weeks out of the listing. We're going to be at, well, when it comes down to these uh, NFTs, 25 Solana bit floor, easy, right? Easy. And we're probably going to talk about a million followers. So this is one of the most hyped projects you could find this year. And I hope it will do extremely well. Only time will tell what the fact is currently, because they said you're not allowed to sell, is that it will take up until March for you to sell the NFTs, which basically means you need to hold the NFTs in your wallet in the momentum or temporarily they are worthless right so i invested thirteen thousand dollars as of today I'm, i still need to update this so i update this like a paranoid freak all the time 20.94 for a common of which i have four this one is 20.95 so it went down a little bit and then the rare was 25 is now 23.8 so I invested $13,000, right now it's $66,500. It's a lot of money that I can't have access to for another four months, makes me sad. Why? Not because I lose the money, I still have it, but I have a big opportunity cost for four months. I cannot move this without losing my allocation, which means that the project potential in the long term has now been increased because more value is being kept by the project so i understand why they're doing this it makes sense from a business point of view you know i'm an entrepreneur i have many different businesses that i own however for me as an investor i think the lack of transparency i did not expect from salt chicks why not because everything has been so perfect like a dream almost so far 
even with 155,000 people on Telegram, they still answer almost every single question. I'm not in the Telegram that much anymore because there's a lot of tier three people asking the same shit over and over again as you might expect. Uh, but in the beginning, the questions were really good. You can now find me on Discord a lot more for Soul Chicks where I'm active. Uh, just because the conversation is a lot more mature there. It's not when listing, when Binance, when private sale, what is the whitelist requirements, uh, where do I buy an NFT, those kind of questions, which you might expect, I don't mind, but ask them on Telegram, I'll be chilling on the other side, right, on Discord, where there's actually good conversations about the game, uh, investment uh, discussions, right? So that's basically something that's important to know. Other things that are important to know is that obviously the private sale is no longer on Thursday, it is now also on Friday together with the first IDO opening, right? Um, in addition to that, they are on the Solana blockchain. The USDC token, which was required to purchase on their website is no longer required. Right now you can just purchase straight with Solana. So you can already get your assets ready. You do not require the stablecoin USDC. You can purchase with Solana your allocation. Then obviously the vesting, right? I expect, which has not been announced yet, which would also be nice to know, that after one hour after listing of the actual uh, token, right, during the, during the DEX listing on Radium and the other ones, uh, one hour, two hours it will take before we can claim our tokens. I know you guys don't like it, but it's extremely normal. It is to prevent a dump on the initial pump. They want to pump the projects on the listing to get a high market cap, and then the dump will happen as soon as the token generation event is done. Uh, but usually that, that, that pump and then the, the first dump is eaten up by the continuous pumping. Right. If they would pump and then dump on the on the first five candles, then it's very hard to recover because people FOMO exit out of the project uh, and you want it the other way around. You want them to FOMO into the project. Right. So that all makes uh, perfect sense. I just want to let you guys know that that is probably what will happen. Uh, but yeah, this big announcement on Telegram, let me uh, the whitelist uh, eligibility, that's a difficult word, will um, ruin my potential outlook. So I will take at least one day, 24 hours to think, right, as Mr. Research likes to think about projects, uh, to see what I'm going to do, what my plan will be, and how I'm going to adjust the potential of this project because of this. Let me know. I know you're going to blame Soul Chicks maybe. Um, what are your thoughts? Are you mad? Are you happy? Do you Are you in it for the long term? Is this going to ruin your plan? Uh, let's go back and forth in the comments down below. Share your thoughts. You know, don't be too emotional. I'm not hating on Soul Chicks. Yeah, I still love this project. I'm just saying this is a little disappointing because I would like to have known this earlier. And probably a lot of people would have liked to know this earlier. Right before the whitelist was supposed to happen on the 22nd, then the 23rd, then the 24th. Now the whitelist is going to be announced on the 26th. They're dragging us along a little bit, my opinion, right? But still, I have huge belief in this project. There will be a big hype. I'm very excited and I hope you are too. But feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down, alone, uh, down below. As always, I appreciate you watching. If I went a little fast this video, it's because it's super late. I'm still in my office. Everybody's already gone. It's super dark outside. But I just wanted to shoot this quick video for you guys to keep you all up to date, although I'm almost falling asleep. Thank you so much for watching. If you appreciate the content, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me as a content creator and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And I will see you as always, in the next one.